two, one. Hey guys, are you ready for Oaxaca? Because I am. Here is my setup. My backpack, got all my art supplies in them, my umbrella, my hat, which I will wear on a plane. I'm gonna actually unload this for you so you can see how I'm packing, okay? And you can then adjust what you're packing. This is an REI backpack. You could use any backpack you want. Um, I like this backpack because there's some front features on here that makes it really easy for things that I like at the ready. Because before I paint, I want to like scope out what I'm going to actually paint. So I like to have my, my sketchbook. I do like these Strathmore toned sketchbooks um, because it allows me to put um, a white charcoal pencil and two other charcoal colors in there. And um, I get four values. I have a viewfinder or a view catcher is really great the best uh, eight dollar tool that you can get for plain air because um, it allows you to put um, kind of your blinders on and put your boundaries or your picture plane really really helpful tool and then a box of charcoal pencils and, or regular pencils i like to use pencils myself the other quick access is um, some hand sanitizer more masks extra masks okay you can put like snacks up here. It's really nice to have snacks at the ready. I have um, paper towel, water bottle, key, sunscreen. Okay. And then the majority of what I pack on the inside. Okay. I'm just gonna unfold this. An apron so that I don't get my clothes so dirty a palette tray that fits onto my um, onto my pastel box, and I'll show you how that works. An extra box of, of uh, let's see, there's pencils, a sharpener, some kneaded erasers, and some more uh, markers in there. I also have this little satchel of gloves in a bottle, any kind of uh, skin barrier. Cream is nice, um, any, any, any kind can do. I do have a little tiny a bit of a denatured alcohol if we want to use a wet medium. And then of course, um, my variety of pens, or sorry, brushes. So a cheap $1 brush, and then these snap brushes. I have a few different versions of them. It's nice to have a couple of different sizes. So if you want to do something really thin, they're cheap. The idea is cheap. And um, more charcoal pencils, or sorry, this is vine charcoal. And then some more, um, some more markers and a little knife. Okay, so that's on my net little satchel there. Wet wipes, really nice to have a little small travel case. My eat my this is my tripod, which I'll actually open up for you. My pastel box, which I will talk about in a second. Oh, a windbreaker. Nice to have a windbreaker in case the wind picks up. And then my um, a little tray. This is very optional. I'll show you how I like to have it as a little table set up. And then a box of, sorry, not a box, portfolio of my papers. So I have an assortment of small papers in here already pre-cut. I have my drawing board which is just skater board with, um, with already taped on. I do have some black tape here. So my black tape is still in my box or in here. Yes, it's inside the zipper. I have some black tape, painter's tape. The reason I use black tape is because I have a black board. Black tape, black board, you see the outside of your picture plane really well and you're not distracted with a white board and blue painter's tape and you can really begin to see your painting as if it was already in a frame. Some ink, we can get this in Oaxaca, and then garbage bags for any kind of trash you might have, you know, with your paper towels. Okay. The other thing I have in here is glassine. Let me know if you guys don't have this because I, um, I can bring extra things and people can buy some supplies from me, including papers and pastels. Okay, 
So glassine is, looks like wax paper, but it's actually a special paper that you put on top of your piece after you have painted it and um, it protects your work. So you can have, you know, 20 of these laid up. Okay, so I'm actually gonna set up my, my um, I'm gonna set this up for you so that you can see this whole setup, including the umbrella. So this is an OBO or an OBO tripod. Um, I like it because it packs down to something really small like this. And it's made out of titanium, so it only weighs a couple pounds. And it's pretty quick in terms of setting this up. So you just set up the legs. But any tripod will work. I do have a spare tripod that's heavier but very sturdy that I could possibly bring for somebody. Um, so really the options you have for painting outside would be to have a tripod and some kind of box for your pastels. Um, and if you don't use pastels and want to use watercolor or oil, that's fine too. Um, but you'll need to have some kind of setup. Uh, the other setup really is to bring an easel, like a French easel, which is a little bit more um, cumbersome, but you know, certainly does the job. Okay, I'm gonna put my box on top of the easel. This is a Heilman box and it is a um, sketchbook box. Um, I like it because it is really the best box out there, made of hardwood, and there's a little spot here on the back. Um, I actually put a picture of what's inside the box on the outside because I bring this on the plane. So TSA will look at this and it will look like a box of bullets. And if you don't have something on the outside, they're gonna to wanna to open it up. So I make sure it says professional artist supplies, soft pastel sticks, fragile, handled with extreme care, property of Amanda Houston. It is exactly how my box is set up so that they don't have to open it up. I will carry this on the plane even if I check my backpack. Um, so I'm gonna set this up. And that way I know that if they lose my luggage, my pastels are not lost. Because as you know, pastels are expensive. So this just opens up. And the only thing that's missing here is I actually put it into my, um, into my little bag that has my umbrella. And it looks like this. And there's two holes in this so that this becomes my instant easel. And I put this on and now I have, I have an easel. Um, I can set this up now so that when I'm painting, I have my little tray where I put my water bottle and my sketchbook and my pencils, and my viewfinder, and the towel. And anything else I want at the ready is all right there. Then I can put my, my paper and my drawing board on. My water bottle just fell off, no worries. And so the only thing I need now is my palette. right on the side here. So I'm going to just show you how I set my box up. Because it might be helpful as you're figuring out what pastels to bring. As I said, bring as many pastels as you can put in a box. Um, I combine hard sets and soft sets together. And I actually set this up so that it is in a color family, rows of color families, by value from light to dark. And then within each row, I look at a warm set of that color and a cool set. So the warm side of red, which should be yellow and orange. And then again, kind of peaches to pink, to peaches, pinks, then purples. I've got blues to turquoises. I've got um, kind of a, a cool greens to warm greens. And then two whole sets of neutrals, a warm neutrals and a cool neutrals. And again, within each one, 
I have you know blues and greens on the cool sides and more of the yellows and greens on the warm side of neutrals. So this is my setup. As I said, I like this as a little palette so that I am now ready to paint and I can put my palette in here and I can pick up any color and put it in here so that I have a set palette. If you don't have a tray like this, you can use a little Tupperware piece and just loot, use clamps. It'll, um, it'll also do the job. So <clears throat> one of the things that um, I also find is really helpful is to bring an umbrella. I do have a spare umbrella that I can bring. This is an easel umbrella, and the way that this is set up is I'm gonna actually set this up on the back of my tripod. You can set this up on your box right here. Um, I find it a little bit more sturdy to set it up on the tripod. You can set it up on a tree branch, on a telephone pole, it, like, it really doesn't matter. The idea is that it's gonna give you shade because when we are painting in plain air, we have too much sunlight, especially in a place like Mexico, where we're gonna wanna paint in the shade because there's just too much light. In general, um, when people paint outside, um, they have to adjust their eyes. And so the way that this gets set up is that I can now be in shade. Sorry. I can be in shade. And I can adjust this. Um, I can adjust this to wherever the sun is going to be. Okay. It does allow me to have shade. It's really not a big umbrella, so wear your sunscreen if you're worried about sun cancer, but you really want to cover your space as well as your palette in shade. As I said, I do have an extra one of these that I can bring. I do have an extra tripod. It's heavy, but I can also bring it. Okay, so those are possible things that I can bring for people. The other things that I'm gonna bring for the group are um, cornmeal. You can bring your own cornmeal. Uh, in terms of cleaning the pastels, I really like to have a little swifter. So that if I, once I'm um, using, finished using my pastels, I like to just quickly clean it. Quickly clean it, and it's a really easy tool. Um, cornmeal with an extra bag is a way to get a deep clean. And that is, um, so I'm gonna bring both. It's a really nice way of keeping your pastels clean because they do, they do end up getting dirty. Uh, so I will bring, um, you know, I will bring those kind of things. And if you wanna pick up your own Swifter, that would be great. I have just, well, I think two extras of these, but if you can pick up a little tiny, just one of these, it's the only thing you'll need. So you can put water in it, you can put denatured alcohol, or you can put ink in it for some of our studio work. Um, even just like a, a, you know, tuna fish can, you know, something like that would be just fine. And I have some denatured alcohol. This I think we'll be able to buy there. And an extra, you know, an extra sharpener. So this is the setup. And so I also will bring, because I do have my own line of pastels, I will bring a box of each, 80 piece set and a 40 piece set. So that if you need pastels, um, if somebody has an accent and they need to like, you know, get some new pastels, I will bring extra pastels. So I can bring, I can bring extra glassine. I'll need to know from you whether you have glassine. I can bring extra paper. I have lots of paper that I can cut down to size. Um, I do have, um, I do have this one extra bag that I could think about bringing for somebody. Which is another plain air bag. You can buy it on Amazon for like $30. Um, it's bigger than my backpack, but it has lots of compartments and it will hold much bigger paper size um, and whatever kind of maybe easel that you might have. I can actually bring this for somebody if they want it. Um, and I do have one extra easel. I'm hesitant to bring it unless somebody really wants me to because I'm gonna have to bring an extra bag and then um, pay for that extra bag. So I'd have to charge a rent at least to cover my bag charge. But this is what they call a half French easel, where you can actually set up this wooden easel and put your pastel box on top of it. If this were the case, I would bring an extra bungee cord so that at least you're bungeeing your pastels to the easel and you won't have a chance of it ever falling off. Um, at any rate, that is, um, that's my setup. 
And so hopefully you can see how pretty easy it is to kind of get set up. And if you have questions over the next um, 10 days before I see you, um, let's email and we can Zoom if we need to. And I'm um, looking forward to having just an amazing time with you guys. Okay, talk soon.